man you know it's funny that how society has changed and I'm gonna kind of look at the role how society has changed and then all reality it really hasn't changed for the good it kind of changed for, for, the, for the bad really because with the proto tools of, of reprogramming the reprogramming of the mind a lot of folks the masses the ones that are still asleep and there's a lot of folks that are still sleeping. They don't even know they're asleep. And they're asleep because technology has ran rapid in the earth. Technology has all, always been here. When you look at the uh, folks that don't, you know, and, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not holding back no punches for nobody. So I'm gonna just speak the truth. When you look at and you do your research, the Nag Hammadi, and you look at the Anunnaki's, you look at the uh, the ancient Egyptians. You look at the, the technology that they had and the things that they were doing and why you see that the tower, uh, or the Pyramid of Giza and all those things are still here. The stuff is still here because there's a reason, right? There's a reason for everything that we see going on under the heavens or under the sun or however you want to look at that. There's a lot of things that are going on with technology as fallen technology, uh, transhumanism. Uh, uh, this cell phone here with with robotics, uh, 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 man, the list can go on. Uh, Antiatium, the, the titanium alloy that's inside a lot of uh, 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 super soldiers. They have super soldiers, man, that are, that are already out. That are that are that America, China already has them, and, and all these different things. I uh, you you got to start thinking and understand that. All of this is, he says, as in the days of Noah, right? You have to know what happened in the days of Noah so that you can understand why you see the world is spiraling the way that it is. It's spiraling the way that it is because as in the days of Noah, so shall it also be the day of the coming of the Son of the Messiah or the, the Son of Man. They say Son of Man because we are Son of Man, right? But we're talking about the Son of Man, the, 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 the creator of all things and, and soon to return once again. But the point is that we're living in an hour right now where a lot of people's mind is is very, very spongy. <laughs> if you want to, you, you can just push it and they'll bleed out, right? They bleed out. Ah, ah, too much, you know, too much, too much knowledge. I mean, not enough knowledge, but a lot of milk, a lot of. A lot of Bible, a Babel, a lot of Babel, right? In Tower of Babel, a lot of, a lot of languages, a lot of com mixed communication uh, in the mind. And because a lot of folks have a lot of Babel in their brain, they, they can't, they ba 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 ba. They know when a baby speaks at the beginning, when the baby's coming out of, out of the womb of the mother, it babbles ba 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 because it's trying to get a speech. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's trying to get a speech, and 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 a lot of folks that are in the world are, are, just, are like ba 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 babble. They're like babies. They're still trying to get the speech because they can't understand the spiritual things that are going on in the earth. This is a warfare. That's what it's all about. That's why he says, "Do not be conformed." Romans chapter twelve. Do not be conformed. The conformality, the conforming, like a like a. That's why he's the Potter, right? We were molded and shaped and pushed and pulled and. And all these things in, in the in the form of what he wanted us to be, the form, the do not be conformed, conformed to this world, but be transformed, forming, reform your mind has to be formed, conformed, transformed, transformed from the likeness of this world. When you can grasp that, now you really start to get some understanding that maybe what I'm being told in certain aspects of my life. I need to really start searching the scriptures and seeing what is told to me on Sunday or whenever you go and sit amongst others that are quote unquote like minded like yourself. See what they're reading. See what they're giving cadence to. Because we give cadence to a lot of things. That's why I said technology has become the 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 the, 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 the idol. Mm. Technology is like the idol that was in the book of the bell and the dragon. When when Daniel was put in the lion's den and then Bill and uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, 
in hell's at all. King Nebuchadnezzar's son, they put him in the lion's den and they done all these things to him. They say, listen, you know, Daniel said, you know, y'all serve an idol that, that does nothing. And they say that they idol feeds them and, 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 and it feeds off of the food that they leave for it, etc. And all these things and come to find out that, that the idol, of course, we already know this, but the ones that doesn't know, but the idol did not even feed them, did not even feed off the food because it was a woman and her child came in and ate the food. But nobody didn't know this because they're looking at the idol to symbolize, to do things, and that's how we are today. We're looking at idols. We we idolize individuals. We idolize celebrities. Oh, that's, you know, a lot of people seen what was going on with that Combs brother. And, and, and everybody like, oh, he's going to jail, whatever. Idol, idols, idols. You you idolizing things, and when you idolize things, you you don't understand that that there's sin just in idolizing man. Because Elohim, uh, 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 the Father says, "Put no man before me, for I am a jealous Father." That's why he said, "Call no man Father." People around here are idolizing the Rosary, the Mary. They preach, they call him father, and all these things. The technology has, has, has warped and distorted the people. And that's what's going on, that, 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 that even, in the, in, even in the Gospel of Thomas, there's so many uh, secrets, so many, so many wonderful jewels that are there, and, and, and because a lot of folks don't want to take the time out to go search the scriptures and, and these agnostic books and all these things, they don't really understand the, the real depths of the Father. And there's so much more. So I digress. But I just wanted to share that, that technology is increasing. He told Daniel to seal the book. Seal the book the time of the end of the age the knowledge of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil <laughs> the knowledge things are changing the knowledge of good and evil well evil is good and good is evil but what was holy is not holy no more what was clean is not clean but what is righteous is not righteous what is sin is no longer sin, but sin is still sin. Sin is uh, sin is death. Sin is sin will will corrupt and stain the outward shell of man. And sin is staining the outward shell of man every day because so many don't understand and grasp the understanding of why we can be free from sin. We can be free from the stain of sin if you understand. The hurt, the wisdom, <laughs> yeah, the wisdom of Adam, the wisdom of El Denai, the wisdom of El Denai. When we can grasp the wisdom of El Denai, then you can understand the, the, the heartbeat of why from Romans to Galatians and etc. why wisdom the fear of El Denai is the beginning of wisdom in long life. And when you understand the fear of El Denai is the beginning of wisdom in long life, then it starts to separate you from the stain. You start seeing the, the, the sinful nature of the flesh. You start seeing little little trickets here and trickets there and little crumbs here and little crumbs. When you really start to see it like that, then you're now you're coming to the understanding of why he said that we have to be separate from the world. The separation <laughs> is key. And without separation from the from the desires of the flesh, no man can see the Father. Something to consider. King coming.